Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now, have I changed careers? I'm on a Moscow police bike here at a uh, exhibition here in Moscow City and we're going to take a look around, we're going to check out some of the bikes and hopefully we're going to see some big all-terrain off-road vehicles. So, let's go. Okay, so this convention, I think it's more of an expo actually, has basically everything to do with outdoor adventure and everything you can do, essentially that's not in a car in some form. So rather than just sort of taking a car and driving somewhere, there's a lot of stuff that talks about off-road travel, camping, holidaying. They've even got here a caravan Check the kitchen out around the back here. Travel camper. Now, there is a lot to see here, by the way, so we won't cover everything, but this is kind of interesting to see a Russian uh, caravan, though. Check this out with the, the kind of sleeping uh, quarters inside. I guess the kids sleep up on top, and then you've got the space for the adults down the bottom. But the uh, thing with Russian campers, they need to be nice and insulated because of the weather and this thing seems to do the trick. So just walking around some of these caravans, I guess they call them micro campers. Seems to be a bit of a thing uh, looking at all these different ones here. If I compare in Australia, they're uh, much, much bigger. And then we come to Russia here and they're kind of like miniature caravans. But I think, is it becoming a thing, micro camping or micro campers? The grasshopper. Look at that, it's even got the bike racks on them. But yeah, it's pretty interesting to see a caravan exhibition as part of this outdoor and adventure uh, event. There's uh, another one here. It's, uh, I mean, you can really, I mean, the whole thing with this is you're kind of in the outdoors. It's not really about living in the caravan. It's more about uh, just sleeping in it. And this is one of the rooftop ones here. Now, yeah, check this out up the top. This is kind of neat. Everest Touring. So it's basically a box that you just mount on the roof of your car. And then it just pops up there. It's got a mattress for two. And that's about it. Check that out. There's another off-road one here as well with the kind of very big uh, four by four tires and a kind of bit of a uh, video showing here where they're doing the off-road camping so you can go off in the snow and you know, it's not a problem. It's, uh, they've got very high uh, axle clearances as well. If you have a look, these down here. This guy's using lots of lights on this. The KS36. They've got some of these kind of uh, roof mountable ones also. Again, I'm coming to these outdoor exhibits and I'm not really too sure <laughs> the names. That's pretty neat though. It's got an outdoor shower right here, which is kind of cool. And then this is really, really the off-road kind of version. You kind of bring all the other gear with you as well. It's very hard to see in there, but there's a little miniature kind of setup. And then have a look at this one on this F-350. This is a beast of a truck at the same time. Check this out. And just walking around a bit further here, they've got some off-road Jeeps. And a lot of the exhibitors here have a lot of custom kind of trucks, I guess. And you can kind of buy them with all these extra features built into them. Have a look at this. Looks like one of these Willis Jeeps. This is pretty cool. I uh, don't know how they'd go in the winter right now, but there's uh, a few different models that they've got. A lemon cello over there, the yellow one. But have a look at this thing here. And walking around a little bit further is some outdoor uh, shop here where you can 
have a look at all the different items. You can uh, kind of imagine yourself, I guess, in summertime doing some outdoor camping. I mean, in winter, it's kind of, it's really kind of the opposites in Russia. So you've got kind of beautiful weather in summer and you've got very cold kind of weather like right now where it's sort of minus 15, minus 20 with the wind chill. And these things pretty much end up in, the, in storage. Now, quite a lot of this event is also different outdoor and adventure vloggers and YouTubers and bloggers and TikTokers. And they're basically sharing their experiences, kind of traveling around Russia and different places, off-road, on-road. And this guy over here, everybody's kind of gathered around him, kind of curious about his travels. This is his bike that he uses here, and he goes on the boat with it when he wants to cross the rivers. Now, it would kind of be helpful if I knew who these guys were, but obviously they're well known in the Russian outdoor and adventure community. But there's a kind of whole host of different guys with their kind of setups here and what they've been using for traveling around. It's very, very interesting. I guess they uh, have Instagram and different things that they're kind of promoting at the same time. But here's another one that's got the off-road truck set up and they've traveled all the way from Moscow across to the far east of Russia on these. And then they uh, kind of show all their travels and adventures on these off-road bikes. This thing looks like it's been around the world. Have a look at all the different country stickers there. That's kind of interesting. And I guess you don't always need the big four-wheel drive, off-road adventure vehicle when you've got something like this little thing. It's got all the gear on the top there, and it's kind of got the off-road tires. It's been slightly modified, but it's a pretty cool uh, looking vehicle. There's all the kit in the back as well set up. Oh, look at that. It's got a map where they've traveled. And they've actually got a little picture book right here on the on the front of the car. Have a look at this thing. They've actually put it with these inflatable tubes and gone off road. And here's another outdoor adventure as well. Looks like he's on sort of a, a Vesper of some kind. It's kind of interesting. Iron Butt Russia. The world's toughest motorcycle riders on their little bikes here. Check that out. And then just walking around the back of the exhibits here, they've got lots of different uh, food stalls. But they've got different cured meats from all around the regions of Russia as well. It seems to be a very popular thing at these different events where they've got all of the kind of uh, different Russian animals that have been kind of made into cured meats. And there's another one right here. So continuing on the theme of off-road vehicles, they've got some snowmobiles here. Is that what they're calling them? Snowmobiles? They've got some kind of pretty interesting kind of uh, sit-down models, stand-up models. Not too sure how you ride some of these ones, but I guess they're uh, practical in some sense. And have a look at these, these are like motorbike versions with the skis underneath. How cool are these things? These are something completely different to uh, what I've seen before, really. They're uh, definitely made for the Outback, I guess. Definitely not the Australian Outback, but the Russian Outback for sure. And they've got these kind of all-wheel all drive off-road vehicles. It's almost like a small car, the size of this thing. The Formula 7, I don't know the size of it. And these are more the kind of quad bikes that I know. They're uh, a little bit more <laughs> usable kind of size. Yeah, there's plenty of different models on show. They're all the different kind of brands and manufacturers. 
This whole side of the exhibition here is kind of dedicated to the, I'm not sure, quad bikes, off-road bikes, all-wheel drive bikes. And then the one thing's kind of the uh, interesting, when you look up at some of the brand names that you're kind of used to seeing, and then here in Russia, they're uh, all the brands you've never heard of. Now have a look at this thing as well. This thing is just monstrous. Now, what's kind of cool in front of it is uh, this, what do you call this? Like a sled or a snowmobile of some kind? Looks like a kind of bicycle with uh, the skis on it, but this off-road vehicle here is just gigantuous. And there's another one on this side. This one's kind of got the kind of storage at the back there. I guess that's maybe all the tools and different things, but the Tamar is kind of interesting. Just the size of these tires. If you look next to this lady, how big it is. Just massive. And around the back here, there's a few more kind of smaller companies. I guess they kind of just do a lot of conversions. It's the best thing I can kind of think of with these things. It's kind of the classic models and then they just sort of take them to the next kind of level with their modifications. Have a look at this motorbike. How cool is this? And here's one of the motorbike dealers here with all the different Harley Davidsons. Yes, they got one pulled out here for someone to try. All the different models of Harleys all the way along here. How cool. It's definitely a well patronized event this. I guess it's a good way to spend a Saturday, come indoors into these big huge convention centers and check out all the different models of bikes, off-road equipment, camper vans. We've even got boat motors back there, the Yamahas. Check out those. Now I do hope you're finding this interesting, uh, this kind of outdoor expo. Uh, Off-road Expo. I'm still not exactly sure how to word the uh, event that I've come to look at here, but there's a lot of people here. There is, I'm going to say, quite a few thousand people that have come to attend this today, so it's actually quite surprising. I wasn't sure it was going to be this big, but walking around now, there's people everywhere. There's apparently quite a lot of famous, well-known kind of bloggers and YouTubers here as well, but Obviously, I don't really recognize anybody, so I'm sure I've caught someone in the shot somewhere that I don't know who it is. And then throughout the whole event, every hour or so, they've got a different person on these main stages doing speeches and talking about the, their adventures and their travels and kind of behind the scenes of their trips. And then everyone's obviously very fascinated, whoever the guy is here, but then afterwards you can do photographs with them. The one thing I really like, and you probably caught that from right at the very beginning here, that the Moscow, I guess, Transport Authority has got an exhibit here as well, which is this kind of red hoarding here. And then they're showing the different kind of types of uh, emergency vehicles they've got. So the one that I was on was the police vehicle, but they've got these guys, like, these are like the ambulance kind of ones that uh, come out to uh, help you and they're actually doing a demonstration. They're showing the CPR techniques as well. But it's very neat. These guys kind of take their time out to come and do this and show the events. Now, this part of the exhibition is kind of the bit that I walked in at the very beginning, but I kind of skipped over it and I thought I'd do it at the end. But have a look at this thing right here. Now, <laughs> this is a... Now, I've said the word beast a few times today in the video, but this thing is something else. I mean, you don't even really get an idea of the size of this. It's just insane. My gosh. Who's going to drive these things? What are they using them for? Somebody tell me in the comments what you'd use this for in Russia. And here's another one. So this whole section of the exhibits here are all off-road vehicles, which are basically produced in Russia in some form. And then I guess you can buy them in different sort of models, but have a look at this thing. Okay, they've got the tires deflated, because it would be even bigger, but this thing's just crazy what it is. 
Finally, something that I can recognize. That would be something that would be in Australian roads. Very typical four-wheel drive. Okay, it's towing the motorbike behind as well, but with the caravan. This is really what you'd see in Australia, very much like this. Finally, I found one in Russia. That's not, uh, got some sort of crazy modification on it. But uh, I guess the motorbike carrier on the back's a little bit different. How about a Mercedes four-wheel drive? Have a look at the bull bar on the front of this. That's just massive. But it's a sedan Mercedes that's been heavily, heavily modified. I mean, is this even street legal, I wonder? Have a look at the size of it. And here's another kind of off-road vehicle. It's got the dinosaur on the side. It does remind me of Jurassic Park a little. Have a look at this thing. Again, I'm not sure where you would use this, but I guess you can put some sort of different bed on the back of it and it can be modified. And then we've come down to the other end of the same exhibit here with these big off-road trucks here. Have a look at the size of this thing again. It's, you can't even get it into the whole shot when you're filming it, it's just so big. This thing is just, <laughs> it's big. And I've always wondered where I can buy a boat in Russia and they've even got a exhibit here for the boats. These ones with the big kind of, uh, I guess, hovercraft style uh, propeller at the back there. This is pretty neat, this one. And check this out, the big boo, or is it the big boat? Hmm, I guess it can go off, off road in the water. This is, uh, again, these things right here, these are just kind of, uh, I'm gonna say they're almost like silly, the size of them. I guess if you live in the far east and you're in the midst of winter, these things would be very, very uh, useful. But I guess I'm t way too suburban to know about these uh, models. This almost looks like a, a Lada Neva that's been converted with these wheels on it. And how drivable would that be? And there's another one here that's going straight over the river. Check that out on the video there. They've obviously got all their tires deflated just to make them easier to park up in here, but. These, these things just cut straight through the ice. That's some pretty mad machines. Billy's Garage. There's another one again. They almost don't look real, but they, they definitely are. They're kind of designed intentionally as different off-road vehicles. We'll kind of do a bit of a full walk around here because there's some pretty neat machines. It's kind of the traditional quad bike here, but look at the size of the tires. Well, this thing, this is just... <laughs> now, I think it's okay for me to kind of be just shocked by this, but I guess for Russia, it's not to be shocked because these are obviously, there's a demand for them and there's a, a want for them. I don't know how many people own these and have them parked in their driveways, but these are, and if you need the, uh, the snow plow right on the front, you can get one attached as well. And have a look at the lift kit on this quad bike. My gosh. Now, I've ridden a quad bike in Australia, but nothing even close to these ones that you see here in Russia. These are all for sale too. They've all got kind of signs on them with the prices. Now again, this lady sitting on this doesn't give it perspective about how big it is when you're kind of walking by it here. Just that sheer size. <laughs> this guy here is barely up to the wing mirror standing next to it. And then this next one here again. I mean, all this uh, reinforced paneling and different things on it. I guess there has to be a market for these somehow in Russia, but I'm just curious how the kids are having a good time in there. And then this thing right out the front here. I mean, what would be the purpose for these? <laughs> now, 
you can watch the video and kind of just be amazed like I am, or maybe you've seen these before or you know about them. Um, anyone's got one of these, send me an email or a message and we'll go out for a ride in one somewhere. The dozer track. These almost look like military grade. Have a look at these things. I mean, okay, if you want to, I guess, go to the river somewhere. Yeah, there's some interesting uh, models here. I mean, these are kind of tractor size. No, but I see you. <laughs> it's a three-seater. Come on, it's uh, so big. We look kind of like just little little ants next to these things. They're just so big. I mean, just think of the average quad bike that you're used to and just four or five times the size and you might be close to how big these things are. <laughs> yeah, very, very interesting. It's uh, <laughs> very, it's very, they're very cool. Okay, everybody, we've come to the end of our walk around of this outdoor expo here in Moscow. Here, this is actually in Moscow City where all the big skyscrapers are. We've got a huge convention center here and nice today that it's indoors. So, hope you've enjoyed this. I'm, uh, I just can't stop smiling just to see all these different kind of vehicles. I guess it's a guy thing, right? We want to see, you know, engines and motors and vehicles and big things, big boys toys, and that's what we've seen today. So thanks. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Again, these convention videos may be a little bit hit and miss with the views. I'm completely fine with that. I just find them interesting kind of to document. So yeah, thumbs up if you liked it. Post a comment. Did you recognize any of the different vehicles that I showed? Does anybody have anything like these that I've shown in the videos? Let me know in the comments. Another video for you to watch right afterwards. Yeah, thanks for coming traveling with Russell. Bye, everybody.